my first experience of Oroville, I saw amazing things around me, but it was the feeling of Oroville that I left with. And when I went back to my life, I missed that feeling. And as soon as I came back to Oroville, I felt it again. And looking at it now, I think that that's the matrimon deer. When I could touch that deeper space inside, that's what I want my life to be about, uncovering that. I felt that this place can support that. Matrimon deer and Oroville can support me to grow. I was on a tour of spiritual sites in southern India and we came to Oroville for lunch and they brought us to the gate to look at the matrimon deer. <laughs> so that's the first time I saw it and it was quite like, wow, what is that? <laughs> it was a kind of a, yeah, a breathtaking moment. I hadn't kind of expected it. It was funny when I came to Oroville first, the Samadhi in Pondi was the place I used to go to quite a bit. And I would say that Matrimon Deer grew on me, you know, as I lived here, it, it grew on me. And today Matrimon Deer is, it's a place that, first of all, it's in the center of Orville, and I think that's quite pivotal. And I often think of it as a force or a, a vortex in the center of Orville, like there's a, there's, it's an energy field that is there in the center of our life, you know, and I pass it every day, my way to work and back again. Especially in the early days of Tamara, I did a lot of tours from uh, groups, women's groups, men's groups in the bioregion into Oroville. But when we went into the Matrimon Deer, and especially the inner chamber, when people came out, it was quite, there was always this kind of sense of, they had touched profound stillness. I found that generally always moved people, you know, and it tended to be the highlight of what we had seen during the day. That was a big part of my contact with Matrimon Deer as well through work. And now we bring the children into Matrimon Deer every time they have holidays. We work with children in government schools. And also for the children, it's always a, a moment of like just coming into an environment with that still. I think that can be quite profound for all of us. When I am needing in myself some support, or if I'm finding that I am just feeling a bit low, or if I'm finding that I'm feeling quite scattered in terms of my energy, Matrimon Deer is the first place I'll think of going just to sit and to, you know, still myself. I think I've had some really beautiful moments there. For example, just recently a friend passed in Ireland and it was quite a shock to me that she had uh, passed on. You know, the minute I heard that, the thing to do was just to go into the Matrimon Deer. And I went to the banyan tree and I hugged the tree and I felt <laughs> in that hugging somehow a connection with her as well. It's a space that I feel it brings me instantly when I go in there, it brings me into a deeper part of myself. Yeah, it's like I, you know, can be so habituated to the doing and the busyness of life. But walking into Matrimon Deer, it's like I'm walking into a sense of nourishment for myself and a sense of um, quietude, stillness. Yeah, that beauty and order that's all around as well, you know? And then the inner chamber is there for moments, you know, of wanting to, um, to sit and just really become still and, and my mind is not always still. <laughs> and often looking at the ray of light, you know, sometimes just the aspiration to be as clear as that, you know, that the crystal is clear, it can receive the light. So how can I empty all of this, <laughs> these thoughts out of my head and still and be that vessel that light can come into. So I think going into the chamber just is a reminder for me of emptying out and yeah, making this body, this mind as, 
as clear as it can be so that it can yeah, work for something higher and receive. When I'm in the inner chamber and I'm sitting, I, I begin to see myself, you know, so I can see what's in this mind, what's in this body right now. And yeah, so I can work on that as well. So I've learned from the matrimon dear that order and beauty are an important thing in life. That a sense of, you know, in every day having a moment or having time to reflect, to stop, to be quiet, to go inside is really important. And it, it, when I do that and when I go there, I feel renewed. When we have collective aspiration, we can really transform things and we can really move things as well. So my uh, dream for Matrimon Deer is that it can be a force of transformation for me individually, for us as Auroville and, and for humanity uh, in totality. That it can in some way help to transform all the difficulties that we're seeing in the world today.